<gasps> what? No way! Oh, I thought it was an enhanced seed. Oh my god, I got two seeds in one chest. And then one of them is the armor seed, 11 million. Oh my god, finally, on 71 KC, we get something good from the gauntlet. So when I make the crystal helmet, it is going to be untradeable. And I was actually wondering, should I keep this and let my teammates have it for when someone else gets the bow ferradinen or something like that? But the thing is, they do not have the crystal shards. And uh, I have like 700 of them or something. And uh, the helmet is not really usable if you don't have any crystal shards. So I might as well just make it by talking to Kowena and she is going to take some of the crystal shards to make the helmet. So that is now a crystal helmet on the account. And overall you need six armor seeds for the full set, which is a super good set. If you have the entire set, the crystal weaponry, including the bow of Ferradinan, gets 30% more accuracy and 15% more damage. So having uh, the full crystal set is going to be essential to use the bow of Ferradinan. But yes, I am indeed doing some Corrupted Gauntlet to begin this video. I have done 20 so far and only got one good drop. Let's see what we get for 75 and some Alkyballs as usual. But by the way, I'm basically just instantly alking all the things that I get. And so far I've got 2.4 million, which is definitely not bad. Like honestly, I've been doing Corrupted Gauntlet a bit now and then, and I've stacked up the KC, you know, casually, but I do actually really want to just hard grind it out. Of course, I can't really guarantee that I'm going to get like any good items, because I could be spending like 100 hours here and not even get much at all. But I do want to spend most of this video doing the Corrupted Gauntlet to try and get as many items as I can, and I'm currently at 78 KC. Look at that, a new personal best on a milestone. 80 chests means I'm still improving, which is very nice, for some room play bodies. <gasps> no fucking way! There's no way! The young left pet! This is so cool, I love this pet! 1 in 800 drop rate, that's double the drop rate. Of an enhanced weapon seed. Oh my god, I have the pet! I love this pet, you can transform it, look at this, it's red now. Oh my god, no way! Now if you're wondering, the pet is 1 in 800 drop rate from Corrupted Gauntlet, and the enhanced weapon seed, which is uh, what I really want, is 1 in 400. So this is like getting two of those. So I'm going to have to say I'm pretty happy though, even uh, if it's not the perfect item. I'm going to ensure it 500k. So now even if I die with this, it is going to be uh, reclaimable from Probita. But uh, yeah, I would rather have got an enhanced weapon seed, but can't really complain. Oh, no, come on. I have so many of these now. I think I have like four banked. Imagine if they were all armor seeds. They're the same drop rate as well. 90 KC, and after this we're actually going to go as a four-man, I think. We're going all of us except Max Nick, so this is actually going to be the first time we have Doug in group bossing. We're going to do some Dagonoth Kings, so some highlights of that will be after this, if we manage to get something. But chest number 90 is going to be just some normal Archibalds. But look! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> But what happened? Grand Knight oh, Look at this! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is what an absolute chat looks like. Oh, bro, it's the green dragon bot. <laughs> oh, dragon oh, X. Oh, oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. That took a while. That took a while. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, That's like back nice to back. back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wait, how many do we oh, have? God. We have four, four now. Four, Just so one more. Is there a Oh, uh, finally. That's actually finally. not bad, right? That's not bad. The damn ring. <laughs> it's pretty good for... Where would it even be good at, actually? I think if you use that and imbue it for, like, bursting, maybe? No. You no. use the Zenite ring over it because of the, uh, the oh. prayer bonus. Oh, oh. the final axe! Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah, let's go. Final axe. Oh, oh finally! Oh let's my go. god. Bro, I was just go. chilling, uh, right. looking at my table and stuff. Finally. I was like, hey. oh, oh hey, we I'm got happy. it. Hey, it's off my log as well, at least. <laughs> yes. 
the gauntlet master achievement which is 100 runs it is of course 99 corrupted ones but one normal after this it is going to be 100 corrupted though let's see what we get for 99 some alky balls let's see if we can get something good for a run 100 of the corrupted gauntlet though there we go that is the 100 mark achieved and we started on i think 55 in this video so we have almost doubled our kc let's see what we get Oh my god, we actually got an armor seed on 100. That is so nice. Unfortunately, I can't really use this for anything yet. Uh, but when I do get another one, I can actually make the legs. The legs cost 2 and the chest cost 3. Awesome, tab 2. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, second armor seed. Finally, we can now make the legs. Ah, oh, nice! I have the helm and the legs now, which is very nice bonus for even my crystal bow. Far off having the levels to make them myself, so let's pay some crystal shards for her to make it for me. There we go, that is the leggings completed, and they are of course ranged legs. All the crystal armor is basically ranged gear. That also gives accuracy and damage to using crystal weapons. Of course, extremely strong with the bow of Ferradin, but also works for the crystal bow. So having both of these is not that bad. Another very nice thing is that from doing gauntlets, I have now reached 11 million cash. Basically all of it from the gauntlet. And uh, I also have 720 crystal shards. I got some alkybol still. And look at these uncuts. That's a good amount of crafting experience whenever I want it. And that is 125 Corrupted Gauntlet completions, and I am going to go over here. This is the total amount of runs I've done, 92, but of course some of them are fails. Uh, so yeah, overall 92 runs, that is a lot of time spent in the Corrupted Gauntlet, but this will be the last one I do for this video. Let's see what the last loot is going to be. It is nothing special, unfortunately. But I'm very happy with the progress. I mean, I got the pet. I'm going to drop that right there. Metamorphosis looks so nice. Got the crystal helmet and the crystal legs. Which means I am done with half of the armor seeds I need. The helmet was one, the legs is two, and the chest is three. So uh, we only need the bow of which is of course the very rare item, the insanely good ranged weapon, and then the crystal chest, and I am officially done with the gauntlet. Two things I want to quickly mention. The first thing is that the Christmas event is out, and I'm going to complete that, and we can check the rewards for it. The second thing is that the Frozen Door is a mini quest that was released also with the Christmas event, which is actually the pre-quest for Nex. Which is very exciting. Uh, this is the same thing you kind of have to do for RuneScape 3. Which is you have to collect four key pieces from Armadil Leader. Oh, Armadillion Leader? Is that from the boss? That's interesting. If you have to kill the bosses for it. Because in RS3 you only have to kill the minions. Until they drop the key pieces. And you need all the four key pieces to make the frozen key. Which allows you to access next. But it says Leader. So might have to go and kill the actual bosses. The Christmas event is done and I got this a big present, so let's see what I get. I am expecting actually to get all of the Christmas items from all the events previously because I've done none. So let's see what we're going to get. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this inventory! That is so many items. And also, uh, oh my god, let's wear this. That's a nice, that's like a double Santa hat. And what is this? A wieldable present. We got... It's a traditional... Oh my god! That's a morphing Santa. Or not Santa, a snowman. Let's look at these pieces. That's a nice outfit. That's a skiller outfit right there with a beer belly, I guess. Uh, goblin decorations. Not really sure what that is. Fill the decorations from the goblins so you can use uh, furniture in my house. Okay, nice. That's pretty cool. This is the best one, though. The gnome shield transform. Oh, it's just different colors. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. And this is a party hat with a sand hat inside of it. So I was thinking about what to do now, and I actually want to try some solo Saradomen. Of course, getting a drop there is pretty damn hard, but uh, I kind of want to try it with the ranged and Serp Helmet and, you know, Rune Crossbow with Ruby Bolts and Diamond Bolts. We have a bunch of them. So I got myself three Ecumenical Keys, and uh, let's see how I do. 
Let's see how many kills I can get in one trip. I have 8 KC right now and the setup I'm using is a range setup with really high range to defense because I'm going to be, uh, you know, praying mage, kiting the boss and taking hits from Bree from the ranged hits. Of course, I will have quite a bit higher than 177 because I can't equip these items just yet, which together is 88 more range defense. So just eight, add 88 to this because uh, if I equip them, I'm going to be attacked by the minions. But yeah, let's see how this goes. The first kill of the trip, let's see how this goes. That didn't take too many supplies. And of course, we get the frozen key piece as well. There it is, as I was talking about before. And uh, that is one of the four pieces I need to go to next. So it seems like it has 100% drop rate, which is very good to know. Well, this seems like the end of the trip. I have no more food. And uh, guess how many kills I got? I got a total of two kills, but I do feel like I could have done better. I think I took some hits from the boss and uh, yeah, I'm going to try again and see if we can do better. All right, that's definitely an improvement. That was four kills on that trip, got to 14 KC. Of course, I know that this is not really that efficient because if we would group do this, it would be a lot better. But I really just wanted to try and see how it would be solo. Maybe it wouldn't be that bad. But yeah, four kills per trip is definitely not worth it. So I'm just going to stop right here. Something I was made aware of recently is that you can actually turn these crystal weapon seeds, which are kind of useless for me, into crystal acorns if you go to Pennat in Priftenas. So if I talk to him, I should be able to turn them in. Yes, offer crystal weapon seed. Three of them, I really don't need them. And then yes, don't ask again. And that is three crystal acorns. I planted the first crystal tree of the account and I had to get some garden pies to be able to do that and I'm going to add some ultra compost to it because depending on what compost you use the more crystal shards you're going to get. I should be getting around 14 to 16 with ultra compost which is not bad which means that all of these three acorns is basically like 45 crystal shards which is pretty nice. I mean getting them is kind of hard. Um, the corrupted gauntlet gives like 6 to 8 per completion so it's like two completions in one tree. So between doing gauntlets, I've been doing some fishing now and then, and that is 65 fishing. I think I started with 61 before this video, and that is just really to raise my total levels. I actually recently got 1700, but I got that in the middle of a gauntlet run from 85 hit points, but uh, yeah. I want to get to 70 baseline, so that is one I have to get up. But that is going to do it for this video. The next one will, of course, have some Corrupted Gauntlet in it as well. But we are planning on doing some Chambers of Seric now that we have Tridents. So that is probably going to be included in the next video as well. So the next one is going to be a banger, hopefully. But until next time, guys, remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see future content. Click any of the videos on the screen right now or playlist if you want to see videos right away. And until next time, guys, take care.